you raced before? Last year. Tell me about it. Oh my God. I, it's hard to explain. I, I cried on the way in today. It was like back over again the first time again. It was so thrilling to be in a big group of guys revving their engines. And, uh, you know, it was really cool. I feel like one of the guys. <laughs> WL pumped up a little bit. See how she runs. My name is Jeremy Bay. I own 1945 Speed and Custom uh, in Troy, New York. Uh, my car here is a, uh, it's a 25 Dodge body. It's a Model T hood, Model A grill shell. Um, running a 286 inch flathead V8. It um, runs on a uh, Hillborn fuel injection, run on alcohol. <laughs> Race the Gentleman is basically eighth mile drag racing on the sand using all vintage parts. Um, the cars have to look a certain way and they have to use all you know, period correct pre 53 parts, I believe. And um, you know you can't put paddle tires or anything like like that on it. So it's uh, it's basically figuring out a way to go fast on the sand using old technology. Uh, what's it like racing on the beach? Racing on the beach is cool. It's um, it changes throughout the day. Um, you kind of have to know how to drive on this in the sand. Um, dip, sometimes it's the sand is harder. Sometimes it's softer. So you get into it's just all traction. So you're kind of pedaling the car the whole way down the track. Um, you know the track gets bumpy sometimes, so the car gets moving around. I mean really it's. It's, uh, you know, you're going through the traps and sometimes the car is sideways. So you're not, uh, as, as when you watch videos of, of this event, sometimes you're like, oh, it doesn't look like they're going that fast. But when you're here and you're watching it, the cars are flying.
26 Chevy on a 31 model A chassis. 26 model T Roadster. Tell me about your experience so far. It's been great. It's my second year. Hope to do it year after year if they'll let me. Where are you guys from? From Detroit. Yep. The two that I lost, though, I lost to a flathead V8. So, this is only a four. Tell me about your car. 1930 Model A Speedster. I bought the frame and the motor. Everything else I bought at Swap Beats. Put it all together. The tank is out of a 47 Oliver Combine. I made the seats. And bought the rest of the sheet metal. All over the place. Where are, you, where are you from? The other side of Cleveland, uh, up around Sandusky, Ohio. How do you people here by the first tower doing? You guys doing all right? Gentlemen, is like one of the best hot rod shows and races in the world, and they do their thing with the hot rod cars. So uh, when they um, invited me to do something with the custom cars, I thought, yeah, why not? You know. So then we decided to do the custom by the sea, and the purpose of that show is to like, you know, to gather a, a good lineup of uh, quality builds, you know. So instead of going like a big show, we're trying to pick out, you know, the best cars and dis uh, display them. I'm uh, Sundre Kvip and I do the Customs by the Sea show during the race of Gentlemen in Wildwood. In the cam snappers, I was in the cam snapper, so I wore one of my old shirts down to support him. I thought I'd cheer him up to see another cam snapper in the audience. And the guys we came down with are in the Tornadoes, which is also a club that's basically around the Boston area and southern New Hampshire, but it's small. There are only about six or seven people in it, and this year they brought three cars down. Everyone works together and we all try and get something down here and come down and get out. You know, have a good time on the beach. We'll just keep it in the garage. We might want to use it as a new addition. 
versus uh, Nathaniel Dole in Port Collins, Colorado. Apparently, the question is, 